Welcome to today's video, Bible Verses About Creation. Genesis 1 verse 1. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. This opening verse of the Bible establishes the foundation of biblical cosmology. It succinctly states that God is the originator of everything that exists. The creation of heaven and earth marks the beginning of time, space, and matter, all brought into existence by God's sovereign will. This passage invites us to reflect on the power and majesty of God, who by his word alone brought forth the cosmos from nothing. Psalm 19 verse 1 The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Here, the psalmist David poetically describes how the heavens are a testament to God's glory and craftsmanship. This verse suggests that one can see and understand something of God's character just by observing the universe. The skies, with their vast expanse and intricate beauty, communicate the greatness and the meticulous attention to detail of the Creator. It's a call to recognize the divine artistry present in the natural world. Isaiah 42 verse 5 Thus saith God the Lord, He that created the heavens, and stretched them out, He that spread forth the earth, and that which cometh out of it, He that giveth breath unto the people upon it, and spirit to them that walk therein. Isaiah introduces God as the grand architect of the heavens and the earth. The imagery of God stretching out the heavens and spreading forth the earth illustrates his active and continuous role in creation. This verse not only highlights God's power in creating all things but also his ongoing provision of life and breath to all creatures. It underscores the intimate relationship between the Creator and his creation, emphasizing that God sustains all life. Colossians 1 verse 16 for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. Paul, in his letter to the Colossians, extends the concept of creation beyond the physical to include the spiritual realm. This verse tells us that Jesus Christ himself is the agent of creation. Everything was created through him and for his purpose. It includes not only tangible aspects of the world but also the organizational structures and authorities, both celestial and terrestrial. This suggests that all elements of existence are designed to serve His divine plan. Revelation 4 verse 11 Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasure they are and were created. In Revelation, the celestial beings acknowledge God's rightful sovereignty and worship him because he created everything. This verse encapsulates the ultimate purpose of creation to bring pleasure and glory to God. It invites believers to view their existence and the entire cosmos as a testament to God's glory, encouraging worship and reverence towards the Creator. If you found this video insightful, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. May you walk in the knowledge and joy of God's creation every day.